Russians vote in an election that Putin will win, but the Kremlin is looking for a landslide victory. There are no surprises over. Who will win Russia's presidential election this coming weekend with incumbent Vladimir Putin? Set to win a fifth term in office, keeping him in power until at least 2030. The heavily staged managed vote taking place from Friday to Sunday is not expected to throw up any nasty surprises for the Kremlin which told CNBC months ago that it was confident Putin would win the vote comfortably. That's particularly the case in a country where Russian opposition figures are not represented on the ballot paper or in mainstream politics, with most activists having fled the country. Those that have stayed have found themselves arrested or imprisoned or have died in mysterious circumstances, as was the case with jailed opposition leader Alexei Navalny. The Kremlin denied it had any hand in his death. In the 2020 for election, there's no doubt who will win the vote. Putin's name is on the ballot paper along with only three other candidates, who are part of Russia's systemic opposition, Vladislav Davinkov of the New People Party, Leonid Slutsky from the Liberal Democratic Party LDPR and Communist Party candidate Nikolay Karatinov, seen as token political opponents, whose parties are generally supportive of the government. Their inclusion on the ballot paper is designed to lend a degree of respectability to the vote and a semblance of plurality to Russia's effectively autocratic political system. Putin has been in power either as president or prime minister since late 1999 and shows no sign of being ready to relinquish control of the country. He's backed by a loyal inner circle and retains the support of Russia's security services. Reflecting the Kremlin's nervousness over any potential for an electoral upset, however, even candidates who were only marginally representative of the non-systemic opposition, such as anti-war hopefuls Yekaterina Densova and Boris Nadezhdin, were barred from participating in the election by Russia's Central Election Commission, the ban, was widely seen as politically motivated. Over 110 million Russian citizens are eligible to vote in the election as well as an estimated 6 million people living in for partially Russian-occupied territories. In the south and east of Ukraine, much to Kiev's disdain, Putin's approval rating in Russia stands at the highest level since 2016, at 86% in February. According to the independent Levada Center, although analysts like Andrei Kolesnikov, a senior fellow at the Carnegie Russia Eurasia Center, Note that Putin's power model is heavily reliant on two unstable mainstays, passive conformism and fear. Both factors have certainly been amplified since Russia invaded its neighbor Ukraine in February 2022, with any perceived criticism of Russia's special military operation portrayed as a glorious and patriotic defense of Russia's homeland, potentially landing citizens in jail. That 315,000 Russian soldiers are estimated to have been wounded or killed in the conflict is not a subject the Kremlin will go near in public. Russia does not release death or casualty figures. The Kremlin will be hoping to see high voter turnout this election. The first time a presidential vote has been held over three days and is looking for a momentous win for Putin in order to legitimize the war, analysts note. The Kremlin seeks an election result. That would demonstrate overwhelming public support for Putin and, by extension, his domestic and foreign policy agenda, Andreas Tursa, Central and Eastern Europe advisor at consultancy Tenio, commented Thursday. The Kremlin is using the electoral contest to reaffirm Putin's legitimacy, mobilize public support for his policies, and showcase unity and determination to its external adversaries, he added, with the Kremlin looking for a landslide victory. According to official data, Putin received 77.5% of valid votes in the 2018 presidential election that saw a turnout of 67.5%. This year, both figures could be even higher, he said. Putin does not face any real competition in the vote and, if needed, electoral authorities have various tools at their disposal to engineer the desired turnout and result. However, the preference is to generate the result with as little interference as possible, he noted.